Okay, in this video we're going to look at some properties of quadratic residues and the Legendre symbol. So let's recall that A is a quadratic residue modulo P. If there's a solution to this equation, X squared is congruent to A mod P. Further, the Legendre symbol is like a question. So we say in parentheses A by P is 1 if A is a quadratic residue and it's negative 1 if it's not a quadratic residue. Okay, good. So now we have this proposition. So I'll really just focus on the third bit, but we'll go over all of it. So let's say P is an odd prime, P does not divide A, and it does not divide B, then we have the following. A squared by P is 1, so what that says is that A squared is a quadratic residue mod P. So that's totally clear because we obviously would have a solution for X squared is congruent to A squared mod P, and that solution would be A. Good, and then if a is congruent to B mod P, we have A by P is, con is equal to B by P. So that's also obvious because the congruence X squared is congruent to A mod P is equivalent to the congruence X is X squared is congruent to B mod P when those guys are the same. Okay, so the one that we'll focus on is the following. So AB by P is equal to A by P times B by P. So for this bit of the proof, we're going to use Euler's criterion. So let's recall that. So Euler's criterion says that A by P is the same thing as A to the P minus 1 over 2 mod P. And that'll actually make this calculation fairly easy. So let's look at <coughs> A, B by P. So that's going to be A, B to the P minus 1 over 2. Uh, mod P, but then by exponent rules that gives us A to the P minus 1 over 2 uh, times B to the P minus 1 over 2 mod P. Okay, great, but then that is uh, congruent to A by P, B by P, mod P, but then since uh, the Legendre symbol, so we'll just call it dot by P, is equal to plus or minus 1. This means this is not just an equivalence, this is an actual equality. So we can replace this congruence mod P with just equality. So that means we can say A, B by P is the same thing as A, P, B, P. Good. And that finishes the proof of this proposition. So I'll clean up the board and then we'll use, we'll look at an example of an application of this proposition. Okay, so now we're going to look at an illustrating example or an application of the third part of this proposition. So we want to look at negative 15 by 13. So in other words, we're asking the question is negative 15 a quadratic residue mod 13? Remember this Legendre symbol is like a question. Okay, sorry, I wanna work this mod 11, not mod 13, so let's change that real quick. Okay, great. So now, by part three, we know that this is the same thing as negative one by 11, 13 by 11. Okay, good. And then the next thing that we know is that 13 is the same thing as uh, 2 by 11. Okay, good. And so we're using part 2 to do that. So we used part 3 to split these up. We used part 2 to do this next bit. And now we're going to use Euler's criterion for the rest. So this is negative 1 to the P minus 1 divided by 2. So let's see, uh, P minus 1 divided by 2 in this case will be 10 divided by 2, which is 5. And then we have 2 to the 5. Okay, good. Now negative 1 to the 5 is obviously negative 1. 32, 30, uh, sorry, 2 to the 5 is obviously 32, and notice 32 is 1 less than 33, which is uh, negative 1, so this is negative 1 times negative 1, which is congruent to 1 mod 11. So in other words, negative 15 is a quadratic residue mod 11, so we can answer in the affirmative to this question. Okay, good, so that's the end of this video.